Hey guys, welcome back to Just Me Caitlin. I'm Caitlin and this is my channel and if you're new here, welcome. And in today's video, I'm going to be cleaning up my messy room. I know it's very messy to me. It might not look messy, too messy, but like, okay, it's messy. I'm just gonna say it's messy. But I have to clean it. The reason it's messy, one, is because I have a craft fair that I'm getting prepared for and I've been working really hard on stuff that I'm making. I'm also going to do a vlog when I go to my craft fair, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, so let's get into cleaning my room. I might rearrange stuff. I don't know yet for sure if I want to do that, so let's just get into cleaning my room. I'll do a before and an after. So basically I'm going to make the before as short as possible so you don't have to see that trash. Okay, so this is the before of my room. Very messy, messy, messy. So let's get into cleaning and show you what the after looks like. I'm still cleaning. I just finished making my bed. Now I'm gonna pick up my floor and reorganize a bunch of stuff, and yeah. So I think it's looking a little bit better, but I can make it extra better because it's still messy. There's still so much on my floor. I also have to tackle my closet, go through my clothes, and see if there's stuff that I want to get rid of because I have a lot of clothes from when I was in middle school and younger. If you're wondering what I'm doing right now, I'm actually crossing off days on my calendar because I slack on that really bad. But yeah. So I think I gotta get back into the swing of things. So I think I'm just gonna go back to cleaning my floor. Yeah, I'll see you guys when I clean something else. I feel like I don't feel really productive right now, so I feel like if I tackle my closet, that'll make me feel productive by getting rid of some stuff out of my closet so I can have room for other stuff that I want to put in there. So let's clean this closet and see what we don't want anymore. So I went through my closet. There's nothing I want to get rid of in my closet, so I'm guessing it's all in my dressers because I literally shove stuff in my dresser so I'm going to go through that and find stuff that I want to get rid of and things that I want to keep. Let's get into that. So I just finished cleaning my dresser, but I think I want to move my dresser over there, there, right there, and then have that over here. I think I want to move it, but I'm not sure yet because I don't know. Stay tuned. So it's been a while since I updated you on the progress that I'm getting and my room is still a mess. I've been going through things and moving things around. I moved that dresser over here and then that shelf that was over there is now over there and the floor is still a mess. I have to clean it up and then I have to do my desk and I pretty much will be done after that. So let's finish this up. guys so I finished finally cleaning my room and that took me almost about two or three hours and it looks better so I'm going to show you what it looks like and I'll basically just give you a room tour but if it changes then I'll do another room tour or updates on my room but let's get into this 
room tour. So if you've been watching me for a while and you've seen my other room tour, well, my room has been changed and I redid it and stuff to it. So I will show you guys some of those clips of me redoing my room. I am redoing my room. That's why I'm wearing a very long sweatshirt that I don't care about and my hair is up. I've started painting, but this is my room right now. It's very empty. I got rid of a lot of stuff. And then my closet is has a bunch of stuff in it. But I'll show you the paint that I'm doing, and I'm just painting my room. Later, my cousin's coming to help me paint. But I'm going to take you guys along on this journey of me redoing my room. I'm going to get new bedding, a light cover for up there. And then I'm going to also do a few other things. But come along on my journey while I redo my room. So this is my paint. You probably really can't see it, but that's my paint. The color of it is uh, Dutch Tulip. The color is Dutch Tulip, but I have to paint this whole room. So yeah. I will get back to you guys when I've done a bunch of painting or when Emily gets here. Yeah, but that's right, um, what I'm doing right now. So hope you guys enjoy my journey of redoing my childhood bedroom. Yeah. So this is my progress. I've done a bunch of that. I've done up there. And then I've done some over here. That's what you first saw me doing over here and then I did some on the other side of that window right there and Emily should be coming over soon to help me because I need help because this is a lot of work yeah so I will see you guys when it looks a little better or when Emily's here <laughs> painting the walls this is what the room looks like it looks really good now we just have to move in all the furniture and decorate and I'll take you guys along with me when we do that but for now it's drying and it looks super good and now I'm just gonna give you a room tour so first thing you see is my door and then to the right of my door is my light switch that does my light up there and then I have these pictures. So this is my grandparents, my dad's mom, and my dad's father. And then this is a picture of my dog that my cousin painted. And then that's me and my dad's mom. And then down here I have books. Lots of books because I love reading. More books, a bunch of other stuff, random stuff. But I love books. And if you haven't seen my book video, go check that out. Also, on my other channel, I know I talk about that channel a lot. It's Crazy Cousins Forever. We just did a book video over there. Then over here, I have that box is my sewing box with all my sewing stuff. I really do not sew. I just have it in here. And an umbrella. These are my curtains that I got to match the theme color. And my hat. And then over here, I have this shelf. And on the top, I have heart rocks I collect heart rocks, heart crystals, and then crystals over here, and then more crystals over there. And then this is an avocado plant that my cousin gave me. She takes avocado seeds and then she grows them. It's grown pretty well. If you guys want updates on it, I'll give you guys updates on that. And then over here I have another plant that she took a sample, like a piece off of a plant, and then she grew, like planted it, and then it started growing more leaves. She loves doing that. So I have that one that she gave me and then the avocado one. And then I have a painting that I did. It's it's actually a really good painting. I'm kind of proud of it. I'm not the best at painting, but that's great. And then down here I have more crystals and rocks and a clock that I made. Down here I have a picture of Patrick that I painted. And then I have a picture of my dog 
collage that my friend made me. And then over here, oh, it's kind of stuck. This is a painting that my cousin made. I have a lot of stuff that she made in here. And then over here, I just have my craft stuff for my craft air that's coming up. And then this is my bed. It matches this color. And then I have my blanket. This I made this blanket. Yep. And then I have a lot of blankets. Eight, nine blankets on my bed, but these two are for my doll. And then I have just a bunch of stuffed animals and then pillows. And I have a sleep mask over there. And then I have my nightstand. This actually lights up. I painted it with my cousin. We went and paint, did painting. And it has a little light in it and it'll light up. Then I have my water bottle, chapstick. This is my diffuser. It plays sounds too. Then I just have a bunch of stuff down here. And I have this lamp. And I have a dream catcher. And just a bunch of my cords for charging stuff. Yes, I'm wearing fuzzy crops. Got them at Walmart, best purchase ever. With some socks that have yarn and knitting on them. Yes. And then I have a fan over here. And this is my dresser with all my stuff on it and just holds my clothes. And I have like a tripod up there, some makeup, perfume, jewelry. And then up here is my hanging plant. Love this thing so much. It looks really good. I got that plant at a yard sale for two bucks and it's hanging in my room now. Then down here I have just my toiletry bag that I take when I go to sleepovers, my bag that I take for sleepovers, my iPad traveling case, and then a weighted hula hoop that I use for exercise. And then this is my desk. I can't show you over there because it says a naughty word. On, it says my dog and I, my dog and I talk the S word about you. Yes, I'm not going to say it. And this is the this is a lamp that I have. I got it at a yard sale for eight bucks. Love it. It goes really good. And then over here I have my Colleen Hoover collection. I have five of her books, and then just this book that I really really like. And that's a picture of my cousin and I. Yep, love her so much. And then over here I have my Polaroid camera, just a little angel that my grandparents gave me, a time capsule that I made. I have to open it on this date. And then I have some paper flowers that I got at a craft fair. And then this is my book with all my Polaroids in it, my album. And then down here I just have a book, an Uno game. Then I have this turtle bowl with seashells and sea glass, more sea glass. And I just have stuff on my whiteboard and then all that in a ring light. And that's basically my whole entire room. I'm not showing you in my closet because it's messy. But, well, it's not too messy. I'll show you. But it's dark. That's where I keep all my craft stuff if you're interested. So I hope you guys enjoyed me cleaning up my room and just showing you around my room and stuff. And please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and comment down below any other videos you would like to see. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!